What's up YouTube, how you doing? This is Mr. Tybox123 and in this video I'm going to be showing you the first boot from this brand new 2012 Ivy Bridge MacBook Air. So here we go guys, let's do the first boot, let's turn it on. Now the on off button on the MacBook Air is actually part of the keyboard so there's no dedicated on and off button. Again some fantastic design from Apple. And let's just wait for this to boot up. It's going to take a little bit longer the first time round but with that SSD inside, that, especially that new faster 500 megabits per second SSD, this is going to boot up fairly quickly indeed, especially for a first boot. So let's get this one booted up. We've got the little rainbow umbrella there going around in the corner just waiting for the setup to start now and here we go first of all it asks us for the language that we're using so we're obviously going to choose English then we're going to choose our country, United Kingdom for me, British keyboard for me, now I haven't actually got Wi-Fi in here so we'll just skip that, don't transfer now, continue, agree, we're going to continue here, skip all of that, skip all of that. Oh, we've just got to put a name in here, so I'll just put mine in. Continue. Got to put a password. creating our account we'll just continue take a snapshot this is going to be our profile avatar continue choose your time zone now it's just going to talk us through all of the gestures and stuff start using OS 10 Lion now obviously these come pre-installed with Lion at the moment with the anticipated release of Mountain Lion later in the year. And there we go, we're in. Comes straight up as well with our iCloud information in case we want to put that in. But first of all, let's just do a clean boot and see how long this takes to boot up once we've gone through the setup procedure. So that's now shutting down. I think this first time round it does take a little bit longer than it would do normally. And here we go, let's see the boot up speed. So, turned on. Now booting from the hard drive, or sorry the SSD. And bang, we're in. Put our password in. Correctly. And that's it, we're ready to rock and roll pretty much straight away. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like button, please do hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all in the next video. See ya. So we can take a look at this new map look here. And there we go. So that is the new 11 inch map look here. The dimensions are absolutely identical to that that went before. Now, on that side, we've got the USB 2 stroke USB 3 adapter slot. 